hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start adding the mobile controls all right for the mobile controls what we're gonna do first of all is to change our platform so if you click on build settings all right right here make sure that you have downloaded the unity for other platforms as well all right for example i've downloaded unity for all of these platforms all right so if you are using if you have an android a mobile phone all right then you can click on this android and simply click on switch platform but since i'm using an iphone so i'm gonna switch to ios all right so just simply click on it and then click on switch platform and this process will take few minutes okay depending on your computer hardware so maybe it will take five to ten minutes for me take five to ten minutes so let's just wait for it to so that this importing process is finished all right then i will guide you step by step further all right so as i told you it took five minutes in order to change the platform to ios all right now if you are using ios then you can download uh, application from app store by the name of unity remote 5 something like that okay and also make sure that if you are using a windows computer then in windows you download itunes as well all right after that you can just click on edit project settings and then click on editor okay and then go ahead and connect your iphone to your pc and then right here you will see your device name just simply click on it and when you play the game right here then it will be played on your ios device as well but just make sure that on your device the unity remote application is running all right you can watch a video on that how to connect your iphone to the unity game all right and also for the android okay so once the platform is switched now we can switch the platform right here as well and click on missions uh, mission actually this is the scene okay now right here we're gonna add our mobile controls okay first thing which we will be needing right here is the joystick so you can search on the unity asset store for virtual joystick pack okay this is the creator name this is a free asset all right so make sure that you search for it and then add it to your asset and then click on open in unity and then click on open unity editor after that it will open this up uh, and you can download it but for me it is showing the update because there is i think this package is updated recently so i'm just gonna update it all right and you guys can download it all right after download it will show this import button so just simply click on import and then right here you can just click on skip and then click on import again once it is added you can click on right here virtual joystick you can uh, read the pdf on how you can add this joystick but i'm going to show you how we can do that all right first of all you can select the folder which is native joysticks and from here you can select any joystick you want all right for example i'm going to select this white joystick all right and now right here i'm going to create a ui canvas let's name this as mobile controls all right then make this scale with screen size and you know it 920 by 1080 click on scene view double click on it here it is let's drag and drop the white joystick in there okay there is the joystick you can scroll down right here and as you can see this joystick has this virtual joystick script right here on which you can set all of these values according to your own liking all right and you can also increase and decrease the size so i'm gonna increase the size from here okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve all right let's first of all move it right here for example okay this will be our movement joystick you can increase the size even more if you want 
so 12 13 14 15 all right then we need to make this joystick a little bit transparent all right so make it 30 then open it up make the control stick as 30 as well on the alpha value right there that's it okay if you play the game here is the joystick working perfectly fine so now what we're gonna do is in the next video we're gonna make the movement and camera joystick workable alright so see you guys in the next one